Vizzy King Charles III, Middleton and William's Inferno. News about the British royal family. A close confidant of Kate Middleton and Prince William revealed that the couple is enduring a genuine ordeal due to the princess's oncology, and Charles III was too preoccupied to meet with Prince Harry. So what's the latest buzz about the British royal family today? Why Charles III missed seeing Harry? Prince Harry arrived in London to participate in an event marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. However, his wife Meghan Markle did not attend the solemn ceremony. Notably, biographer Tom Quinn highlighted that Kate Middleton and Prince William positively reacted to Markle's absence at the event, breathing a sigh of relief. According to an expert, the Princess of Wales believes that conversing with Harry would be less awkward because of this. Prince William, however, abhors the thought of having to converse with his brother. William detests the idea of having to meet Harry again. Kate sees it differently. She believes that interacting with Harry will be less awkward if Meghan isn't around, Quinn stated. The Mirror reported that King Charles III of Britain declined to meet with Prince Harry. A close friend of the royal family, Hugo Vickers, noted that the monarch's refusal stems from his reluctance to see his son. According to him, if Charles III desired this meeting, he would have carved out time. If the king wanted to see Harry, he would have easily found time. You can't be so occupied that you can't see your own son, Vickers clarified. Sources within the royal family also confirmed that Harry and Charles III couldn't meet. They emphasized that this was due to the king's jam-packed schedule and his inability to find time to meet with his son. Unfortunately, it will be impossible due to his majesty's full itinerary. The Duke certainly understands his father's diary of obligations and various other priorities, stated Buckingham Palace. Will Middleton meet Harry? The Princess of Wales will meet the Duke of Sussex only under one condition, reports The Mirror. Journalists reminded that Middleton and the Prince were very close friends for a long time, and in his memoirs, Harry spoke highly of her, calling her the sister he never had and always longed for. The editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, deems it highly improbable that William would desire to see his brother during this tense period. Nevertheless, the Prince of Wales might turn a blind eye to Harry's visit amidst his spouse's illness. Ingrid added that if a request for a meeting with Harry came from the top, Kate would likely agree to reunite with her once close friend. If the king asks, she will do it, but Charles, being a sensitive and understanding soul, is unlikely to request such a favor from his beloved bride-to-be. The timing must be right, and it's wrong, at least for now, the expert said. Insight into Middleton and William's relationship. A close friend of the royal couple, children's clothing designer Amaya Arrieta, suggests that the spouses are going through hell since the princess was diagnosed with cancer. In a conversation with The Telegraph, the stylist said her heart is literally broken. My heart is broken right now. I think they're going through hell. Less than greater than I hope they'll come back. It's really personal, Arietta said. Why Britain didn't congratulate Harry's son? Members of the royal family didn't extend birthday wishes to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son. They overlooked Archie's fifth birthday. Typically, members of the royal family, including Charles III, Queen Camilla, Prince William, and Kate Middleton, post a photo of the relatives celebrating their birthday on their official social media pages, but they didn't do so this time. Royal writer Tom Quinn told The Mirror that Archie missed out on quite cute royal birthday traditions. The expert mentioned that monarchs don't give expensive gifts to each other but compete to find the funniest. It would be too simple and meaningless to give expensive gifts, as each family member has enough money to buy everything they want. Instead, when someone has a birthday, there's a royal race for the funniest and silliest gift. Kate is probably the record holder for the funniest gift, Quinn said.